education coverage today. This week, summer break comes to an end for many kids in southwest Missouri. In fact, today is the first day of school for the Ozark School District. And it's the very first day of school for kindergartners. Our Hannah Zettel shows us how they got ready to grow up overnight. Do you ever wish you could have a practice run before some of the biggest moments in life? Well, yesterday at Ozark Elementary School's kindergarten students were allowed to do just that. Empty hallways can be an intimidating sight, but kindergartners in Ozark are facing the first day of school head on. They depend on each other for different things. Like Delaney and Eliana Roussel, twin sisters typically inseparable, will part ways this year learning in different classrooms. This will give them a chance to kind of become independent and, and develop their personalities and who they are without being dependent on each other. Let's follow Delaney wearing the purple bow as she practices for her very first day. So this is where we're going to do a lot of our learning right here. Students rehearsed everything from hitching a ride on the bus to making laps around the gym. They get to come in, meet all of the teachers, go through the line in the cafeteria. So they just get to experience in a short time what it's like to be a kindergartner. East Elementary Principal Anna Thurman wanted students to get the hang of things before the big day, and parents like the twins mom Tracy couldn't be more appreciative. This was amazing. How, what a great opportunity to allow parents to come in and see what it's like in the day and the life of a kindergartner. Kindergartners have a busy year ahead while their parents try not to blink. It is going to be amazing what they will walk out of kindergarten knowing. Um, we'll have readers on our hands, um, writers. They'll be writing up to three sentences. It's, it's going to be amazing. Now, Ozark schools have previously allowed students to walk to their bus stop and map out the route, but this is the first year the class of 2032 can actually make that full trip and tour the school, and it seems like that was a helpful choice.